Hello and welcome back to Chat the Brain with Dr. Ghislaine. I'm Dr. Christine Ghislaine, board certified clinical neuropsychologist. This next video is all about executive functioning. So what is executive functioning? Executive functioning is sort of an umbrella term for a lot of different abilities and skills. When I think about executive functioning, I think about the conductor of an orchestra or the CEO of a company, the planner, the organizer, the individual that sort of keeps all of the systems running efficiently. So let's talk a little bit about the domains or the aspects of executive functioning that are assessed in a neuropsychological evaluation. So when I think about executive functioning, I think about many things. Some people put attention as part of the executive functioning bubble. Some people think about it as attention and executive functioning sort of together. Some people will loop in speed of processing. So are you attending? Are you processing information at an age appropriate level? Other components of executive functioning are things like switching, going back and forth between one task to another, sequencing, putting things in order, or things like problem solving, novel problem solving. We have provided you with a problem. How are you going to organize your approach to solving that problem? How do you respond, let's say, if you're provided feedback in one way or another, does that change your approach to solving the problem? Or do you continue to solve the problem exactly the way that you initially planned? I think about shifting from one task to another. Again, I talked a little bit about this in terms of attention, but shifting the actual going back and forth and keeping the information that you're thinking about for one thing separate from the other thing, this shifting efficiency is a component of executive functioning. Another component of executive functioning that is talked about a lot is working memory. What that means is keeping information in mind, either manipulating that information or holding that information in mind and then producing a response. The best thing that I can use to describe that is an example. So for example, if you say to your child, go upstairs, get your shoes, get your backpack, come back downstairs and meet me in the car. Keeping all of that information in mind, being able to mentally sort of check off each step as it is done and then following through on that task is a way of understanding working memory. So really keeping bits of information in mind to act upon them. Planning and organizing is another component of executive functioning. So if a CEO hands you a large project or a task to manage over the next six months, how are you approaching that project? How are you organizing the components of that project? How are you allocating resources? And let's say one resource is denied or a component of your project shifts in the middle of it. How are you responding to that? How are you planning around that? And how are you continuing to see the project through? There are lots of reasons that an individual might have executive dysfunction, as we call it. Certainly we see this in ADHD and other disorders that are going to be talked about in future videos, but there are lots of reasons why it is important that an individual is able to plan, organize, and follow through on tasks. We assess executive functioning again across a lot of different tasks during the evaluation. And as I've said in multiple videos, developmental context is extremely important. We know executive functioning is broadly housed in the frontal lobes. We know that the frontal lobes are continuing to mature through our 20s or into our 20s, and therefore we need to keep developmental level in context of how this individual is functioning. We also know that certain things like a concussion or a brain tumor are going to impact our executive functioning skills, some of them for longer, some of them for shorter, briefer periods of time. So all of the historical information is also critically important when thinking about executive functioning and executive dysfunction. 